car modding tutorial provided by BI. I am Jay Soren and we had just gone over we had just gone over the modifying damage behavior of this UAZ 469 which we are doing uh, we're modding. So we are going to go back to the tutorial and look at the next steps. All right, so changing fuel consumption. Um, there's a warning here. Uh, let, well, let's look at the overview. So this chapter will learn how fuel is simulated in game and achieves the following things. The type of fuel via, the vehicle is using, the amount of fuel in the fuel tanks, and the fuel consumption. After filtering down components containing fuel in the name, we should see two components in the object properties list, which is ba -ba -ba, object properties of the world editor window. So in the world editor window, our object properties is on the right. And when we scroll down, we'll find the ones I was talking about. Anyways, going back, there is a note here about the how both of these components work is described in detail in fuel, fuel system, and fuel, fuel consumption pages somewhere in this website. Uh, they recommend reading those. I also do. I'll admit I haven't yet. I will go through and read them at some point, or even if I get stuck with this, I might have to take a pause and go do so. But just know that they're there. All right, so looking at the UAZ 469 fuel nodes array, you might notice that it has two SCR fuel node elements. All right, like uh, this vehicle, like plenty of military vehicles, has two separate fuel tanks. And this thing is simulated in game. So let's go find that. We are looking at the fuel nodes array. All right, so let's find the fuel manager component. All right, back to our world editor. Scrolling through our object properties. type in the thing there and it shows up so fuel manager components what I'm looking for and we, it, look at that just like they said we have two fuel nodes all right and their fuel type is petrol the flow capacity vehicle medium whatever that is the max fuel is 39 I don't know is that gallons I don't know uh, liters I'm not sure anyways it's a it's a number can it provide fuel? Can it receive fuel? Oh, those are interesting. Looks like you could make your own fuel truck. I don't think that stuff's set up yet, but it looks like it will be. Initiate fuel tank state 29.25. Oh, that's interesting. Does that mean, so I, like I haven't looked at this. This is my first time looking at this. guessing that means that it doesn't start with the max fuel so uh, my guess is that we could well let me put in yeah let's me put in more than than is there I'm not gonna mess with that now all right cool so all right getting an eye of what's going on here um, let's check back on the tutorial all right so change the fuel type select one of the fuel nodes fuel manage components simply click fuel type in the list box and change fuel type from petrol to diesel. Let's do the first one, diesel. Did I change anything else with it? I kind of didn't see. I'm gonna go. No, it looks like everything stays the same. Just change the fuel type. All right, so repeat the same procedure with the second fuel tank. Again, going back to the world editor changing to diesel. Changing fuel tank's capacity. All right, so we're gonna change it to 69 liters. Look at that. Uh, so it looks like these numbers are in liters. We're gonna change each of these from 39 to 69. Oh yeah, and look at that. Initial fuel tank state from 39 to 69 too. 
uh, for the sake of experimentation, we will leave the second fuel tank with the same amount of initial fuel as before. So what that's saying is we're going to change the max fuel of both fuel tanks. There you go. All right, so our max fuel is changing. But this is not the fuel that is in the tank when you start. So when you start the game, it's not going to have 69 liters of fuel of diesel in the tank. It is going to have 29.25 liters of diesel. So we're going to change that to match the max fuel for the first tank. And just like the guide recommends, we're going to leave the second one with 29.250 liters. And just because we've been doing this for a little while, I'm going to save my prefab with options. Save that, and then I'm going to continue. Always, always make sure to save. This thing crashes all the time. They're still new, still developing. There's bugs all the time. Just make sure you are saving frequently. All right, so increasing fuel consumption. All right, so we can go to SCR fuel consumption components and locate fuel consumption property. Let's do that. Oh, that's my workbench window. I want my world editor window. Oh, look at that. It's already up because I typed in fuel before. And what was it we wanted? Was that the fuel consumption? Yeah, let's locate the fuel consumption property. This property controls the amount of liters of fuel that is consumed at max power RPM per hour. Change it to 145 and voila, your vehicle will consume fuel quite fast even though it is a larger fuel tank. Well, even though it has a larger fuel tank? Uh, whatever. Well, now I can try to remember how to do this. Boom, 145 and at idle. Yeah, we're gonna leave it there at idle. All right, cool. So look at that. You can even change how fast this consumes fuel while the vehicle is at idle. We could get dumb and be like, you have to keep moving, otherwise it consumes all the fuel. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now. Maybe I'll do something later while I mess with that. Okay, and that wraps up the changing the fuel properties. So we just changed the changing fuel consumption. The next is changing driving behavior. I'm gonna again do a little pause, give the break. Good way to break up the videos, especially so I can go back and fix things later once I have a better idea of what I'm talking about. 